This jump demonstration shows how to calculate sample size and power for a hypothesis test on two independent sample means. Jump has a collection of interactive sample size calculators called Sample Size Explorers under the DOE menu. The calculator for a test on two means is found under Power and Power for two independent sample means. In the Explorer settings, we'll specify the type of test, either one-sided or two-sided, the significance level alpha, and whether the population standard deviation is known, selecting yes to base our calculations on a z-test and no for a t-test. We'll use the defaults for this example, a two-sided t-test with an alpha of 0.05. In the profiler section below, we have a group of interactive graphs that show the relationship between power on the y-axis and either group 1 or group 2 sample size, the difference to detect, and group 1 or group 2 population standard deviation. We can use these sliders or manual text entry to specify values for these test parameters. We'll specify a difference to detect of 2.5 and a population standard deviation of 2 for each group. We'll then set the power to 80% to calculate the necessary sample size under these conditions. We see that a total sample size of 23 would yield a power of 81.44%, with 11 observations assigned to group 1 and 12 to group 2. Note that power is not exactly 80% as we specified, because sample size must be an integer, and there's no sample size that would yield a power of exactly 80%. 23 is the smallest total sample size that would achieve a power of at least 80%. Also note that when we specified our desired power, the sample size was calculated while the difference to detect and group standard deviations stayed at the values that we specified. This is because total sample size was selected in the Solve For drop-down menu. If we selected another parameter, for example difference to detect, then this parameter would be calculated while holding the others constant. Here we see that for a total sample size of 30, and group standard deviations of 2, the smallest difference we can detect with at least 80% power is approximately 2.1. We've been using manual entry to perform our calculations, but we can also use the graph sliders to interactively explore the relationships between hypothesis test parameters and power. For example, we can increase group 1's standard deviation to see how it differentially affects the relationship between power and group 1 or group 2 sample size. We also have the option to lock in the total sample size to explore trade-offs between weighting that sample size more heavily toward one of the two groups. Finally, as we explore different scenarios, we can save our results for later reference to help us choose the sample size that we'll ultimately use. Clicking the Save Settings button saves the current values to a table at the bottom of the window with radio buttons to return to those settings at any time. Under the red triangle, we have options to simulate data according to the parameter values that we've specified, as well as to create a data collection table for the sample size that we've chosen.